Let me, so I don't want you to be confused, okay? And first of all, the only thing I want to know is the facts. Uh, just, okay. and, and just know what happened. Okay. All right. Um, so you are confused. Um, public defender, I'm not on the prosecutor's side. Okay. okay. It's on the other side. Okay. Um, the, the guy that's, that's been charged. Okay. I'm the investigator and one, and basically all I want to do is fill in the gaps of the information that okay. To basically I've been just trying to hear from somebody. I didn't know what was going on. I tried to contact, uh, oh, what's his name? He's a black detective. I had an attorney too. I tried to contact them both and I had the prosecutor's office. office. Yeah, and okay. I hadn't heard anything. All right. and I haven't heard anything about this. I've been wondering what was going on. Yes. Yeah, we're. I think there's trial date coming up. I'm not sure. I'm not it's sure. Like it was supposed to. I thought they were supposed to film on June 3rd because they told me it was going to be on my daughter's first birthday. And I contacted the detective personally. Personally. Yeah. Personally. 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 Yeah. That's who I was notifying. I've never heard nothing back from him, so I had no idea. I just said, well, I guess it's over. I don't know what's going yeah, no, on. No, there's there should be another date coming up. So. But I appreciate you coming yeah. and talking with me because um, I was trying to figure out what was going on. I didn't know if they had a trial. Yeah, comes. there's there should be another. Um, th there's another court date coming up. There's a uh, trial date coming up. I just don't know when it is right okay. off. Um, I want to say it's, it's either October or November. Okay. Um, I don't know why they got back with you. Um, I don't know either, and like I said, because I have contacted the detective personally, I mean, four or five times. Even I had my mother-in-law call and ask, you know, ask for him when I was work one time, and yeah. I haven't heard anything, so I just didn't know if it was dropped. Okay. I sat at the bench that was straight across from in front of my bus, and then there was a separation probably about this far over here where there's other benches. That man was standing at the end of those benches. He just was looking and staring or whatever, looked a little, you know, geeked out, kind of bugged out. Okay. And this and is like the middle of the terminal, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so I just tried not to pay no attention to him. I looked and looked over. It was me, him, and some other woman that was further down that was the only people at the transit center. Whoever okay. was in the office was there. And then there's a police officer that sits there. And for some reason, he hadn't been there that day. And I was kind of weirded about that. But then, lo and behold, he came around the corner. But long story short, did you not see his car? No, he didn't have his car parked there, but he was there. He was just around the side. Was he in uniform? He was in uniform. They stay in uniform, and they always stay at the transit center. They always have a police officer present. Okay. He parks in the terminal. He'll park right here against this wall or right here at, at this wall. But his car wasn't there that day. So Not that day. Know. So okay. I didn't know. Okay. Yes. And that's what I thought weird about it, you know, after it happened. But anyways... He comes, you know, he comes beside him, he sits down in the seat right beside where I'm sitting and I said, how you doing? But he sat down beside me and he's like, can I ask you a question? And I was like, yeah, uh, you need to know when the bus comes? He's no. And he sticks a knife just straight in my side and I panicked because I, I was pregnant at the time and I just took a deep breath and I was like, don't say nothing. And he was pulling something out of his pocket as he had a knife, like... It was him this way, but it was with this hand. He was pulling something out of his pocket. He pulled out a bag. He had like maybe like that much half full of cocaine. He said, You're coming with me. Okay, so he dropped the he's, cocaine. He's sitting beside you and he yeah. used. Um, about how tall was he? Uh, oh, man. I, he was definitely taller than me, maybe about six foot. Maybe you're six right one. in five foot three, five foot four. Yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we're about the same height. Yeah. So yeah. about five, three and a half, five, four, yeah. And he stood probably about maybe that much taller than me, so he was at least six foot, maybe six one at the most. Okay. Maybe. I think he was tall. And he was thin, he was not, you know, other than his big bulgy coat. I mean, he was not a big guy. Okay. Um, and you said clean shaven. He just looked like any other ordinary person, you know, no somebody that marks or anything. No not, tattoos. not that I could see, because like I said, it was winter time or getting to be winter, and he had that big bubbly coat on, so I couldn't tell if he had tats or not. Okay. Pulled it out, stuck it to my side, and he was saying, "You're coming with me," and I said, "I'm not going anywhere with you." And he said, "You're you're coming with me," and I said, "No, I'm not coming with you." He said, "We can make this easier. We can make this hard." And then, as soon as I soon as I said that. The buses started pulling up. He panicked, and I said, I'm going to get the police now. He jumped up as he went around the corner. Here came the police officer. police officer just bypassed him by seconds. Didn't see him and didn't know anything until I ran to the first bus that pulled up. I walked straight in the doorways, and I was like, notify the police immediately. I said, I need somebody to go to the office and notify the office. I said, some man just put a knife to my side and threatened that I had to go with him, you know, threatened me. And 
he, they said, well, they got on dispatch, called immediately, had somebody come to me, and then more cops came on bicycles and from the police station across the street. They took me over there and took my statement. A few minutes later, they went out looking for him. Well, the description I gave of him was somebody they were already looking for, I guess. They said he was wanted for a few other rapes and an attack on a pregnant woman and an attack on a police officer's daughter or some, something to that effect. And okay. they said that I couldn't have gave a better description of him. Okay, and he was kind of standing in between. Yes, just okay. kind of lurking around, staring, you know, out there. Okay, which way did he go then when you he got He went around up? the side of the bus station. He took off that way in front where we was. He took off this way. I was here. He was over there once he came to me. When that happened, he took off and went around okay. the side of the transit center. I don't know if you've seen yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. No, it kind of yeah. loops around where the buses turn as they pull out of the terminal. Yeah. They turn right there. That's where he ran. Okay. As soon um, as the cops were notified, they had him on foot, bikes, and everything, and they were trying to find him right then and there. They didn't find him, I think, until like a week later. You said the officer just bypassed him. Just bypassed him. Didn't where was know. Where was the officer coming from? The officer was coming from around where he had just ran, but so, he came like, let's see, the place just probably took around that corner so quickly, and then not the 30 seconds later, the cop came around like they had just missed so, him. So they would have had bypass. They would have had to, and the cop said he didn't see nobody running. He said he did not see nobody running, okay. and he said not to say he wasn't there. He said I could have just missed him. He said he was on his cell phone that day, because I do remember that was brought up when they brought the report to me. And he said I was on my cell phone. There was so much going on. There was an alcoholic they were picking up down at the end of the back of the transit center, I guess on this side. And he was just not paying attention. But they found him. So as he disappeared around the corner, then the officer comes around. Yeah. And that was when you saw him. Yep. And just. And I told him, I said, he took off that way. He's, he took off that way. And I asked, if you have cameras, do you, I mean, do you all have cameras? Can you go yeah. back on the camera? They didn't have the cameras at the time. They do have them now. But where I was at, they didn't have the cameras at the time. So it kind of made it harder for me. And I was so upset and so shooken up because I was pregnant. I didn't know what the yeah. hell was going to do to me. And I did. I, I panicked. I, I kind of panicked. I was scared. He was pulling said, baggies out. Like he, he was asking me. Like at the time, that's what I put on my report too. He was asking, "You want to go smoke? Do you want to go get high? You, wanna, you coming with me?" And I'm like, "I'm not going anywhere with you." And that's when he started getting a little bit more attitude. You're coming with me. Right. I said, "I'm not going anywhere with you." You know, you, I, you understand. I'm not going anywhere with you. And so he pushed the knife a little bit harder on my side, which at the time it did leave a knife. It did have a mark. It's gone now, but it did have a mark, and that's when I notified at the bus. The terminal, the buses had just pulled up. That's what spooked him. He ran. I don't know if he, because they unload the buses, tons of people come out. Right. What happened to the baggies? He had he dropped one on the ground, but he picked it up, he grabbed it as he stood up, just threw it in his pocket, and took off. Like, and he was literally at a run. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And he was on something. Like I told them that when they first questioned me, I said the man was on something. He was not. And he was so clean cut. I would have never. You know, you never know. Yeah. That's a scary thing because they say don't judge a book by its cover, and, yeah. and they're right, don't, because this man was clean cut, nice looking, jacket like mine, little bubble ear, nice clothes, shoes, smelled good. I mean, I just, you just never know what people are going to do. They really don't, and, and I was shocked. Like when I gave his description, they said, we know him. He is somebody we are looking for, and once I pulled him out in the papers they brought me, they weren't sure it was him. Did, and you gave them a description, they did a drawing. Out there, they did a drawing there that day. Or no, the detective, the female detective came and picked me up, I think a day or so later. I think it was the next day though. Okay. I'm trying to remember, it's been a little while. And I haven't heard anything about this. I've been wondering what was going on. Okay. They came here and I had to pick pictures and everything out of him. Okay. They came here and I had to pick pictures and everything out of him. They came here and I had to pick pictures and everything out of him. They came here and I had to pick pictures and everything out of him. So you told him, I'm getting ready to go get the police. Yeah. When the bus pulled up. Yeah. I said, I'm, I'm going to get the cops now. And he got nervous. I think that's when, that's when he got nervous and 
So like I said, he dropped that entire bag of coke, picked it up, shoved it in his pocket, and just took off. He just, fuck, he was gone. And he, he was quick, too. Okay. They didn't, I mean, I, I was so shocked to see that cop come right around after him. I'm like, you didn't see him running? He said, honey, I didn't see nobody running. But he could have went around the corner running and then stopped, you know, just to blend in with regular people. Yeah. And, and that's when I got off and went and sat up at the seat, and that's when I saw him in the white, the white, well, I think she was white, like, yeah, she could have been something else, but she was further down, okay. sitting on a bench waiting on her bus, because we had all just gotten off the bus. He was already there. He didn't get off no buses from what I saw. He was standing there when, when I got off my bus and came up. He was already standing just like this up against the wall. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was pregnant at the time. I believe I was four and a half months pregnant. My little girl was 15 months now.